we have another instance where somebody attended a Joe Biden rally and decided to politely challenge him on a particular aspect of his campaign. And predictably, he melted down and once again told that voter to support someone else not to vote for him. And this really goes to show you that Joe Biden doesn't have the temperament to take on Donald Trump or become the president. And it also shows you that he melts down under the most minimal amount of scrutiny that in the general against Donald Trump, he would unquestionably not be able to hold his own. Take a look. We're gonna support you if you win the nomination because we gotta get rid of Trump. But what are we gonna do about climate change? Now, you say you say you're against pipelines, but then you want to replace these gas lines. That's not gonna work. We no, can't. No, no, we, no. we gotta stop building and replacing pipelines. We gotta go vote for somebody. All right. Thanks so much, sir. Guys, we're gonna have you. Here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm gonna vote you, so you in the general if you treat yeah, me. Yeah, I know. Well, <laughs> well, can I have a, can I have a Look, you you're you asking a picture of me, coming up, telling me you don't support me. No, no, no. My plan. Yeah, you did. You said you. I said I will support you in the general. In the general. I'm looking for a primary. We're happy to get a member. That's what I'm looking. Okay. Just now, you believe that Bernie can do something in by 2030? I'm actually Depends supporting Tom Steyer. Tom Steyer, well, that's good. He's the guy that did Thanks more so call lines. We have a long line right there. We have a long line. Right there. Call right there. The, the entire country <laughs> Okay. So my favorite part was at the end when um, that guy asked if he can get a picture. <laughs> I mean, how awkward. Um, and Joe Biden just, he decided to blame Bernie Sanders. Oh, well, you're supporting Bernie Sanders. He just assumed that that guy was a Bernie Sanders supporter, which kind of goes to show you that uh, Bernie is getting under Joe Biden's skin because as time goes on, these criticisms of Joe Biden's record when it comes to Social Security are starting to hurt him because as this article from The Intercept points out older voters are fleeing from biden to bernie sanders and it's because his record on social security is unreliable now getting to the substance here like this guy was asking him for a very basic policy concession because joe biden claims that he wants to do something about climate change however he is supporting fracking right he doesn't want to end fracking immediately he supports these types of pipelines at least tacitly and this guy is basically just asking him would you reconsider and joe biden won't even engage with him in good faith he just says well go vote for someone else or something like that i mean it's just unbelievable someone who he does not believe is going to vote for him he just disregards entirely but i mean if you want to be the president then ideally you want to represent even the people who don't vote for you right that's what a candidate who is running to fix the country would say but joe biden i mean this is all about him right he doesn't care about anyone unless they're helping him get to the white house he thinks that he should just be anointed the presidency because he was the vice president um no it's not going to work that way it's not going to work that way and if you actually want to win this primary, you have to prove to us that you're capable of speaking to the issues that affect us and also that you can take on Donald Trump. But imagine, I mean, Joe Biden melted down when somebody at one of his town halls asked him about Hunter Biden. Trump will beat him over the head with this. And we're already seeing that he can't stand up to even the slightest, most polite amount of criticism. So in the event Donald Trump actually brings up Hunter Biden or criticizes him. How is Joe Biden going to respond? He's going to melt down and lose it. So all of this talk of electability and him making this electability argument, I mean, he's undercutting it. He doesn't realize what he's doing because he's communicating to voters that he's not the right person to take on Donald Trump. Somebody who is going to go up against Donald Trump has got to demonstrate that they have thick skin right? They've got to demonstrate that they don't care about these attacks. They're just going to let them roll off of their shoulders. But Joe Biden can't handle it. Even from people who are political allies, technically, that guy's voting for Tom Steyer, which he should vote for Bernie if he truly cares about climate change. But nonetheless, I mean, Joe Biden should see a Democratic Party primary voter as an ally, but he doesn't. He melts down. Go vote for somebody else. He told an immigration activist, go vote for Donald Trump. It doesn't say much for his electability argument because hillary clinton one thing about her even though she had a lot of issues she did allow attacks to basically just roll off of her shoulders and joe biden is incapable of doing that because like donald trump he is a man child so it's just embarrassing this and the fact that he's dodging questions from reporters now he hasn't taken their questions in a while um the fact that a cbs reporter um was ambushed by him with his wah, 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 with, I mean, it's just this is weird he's genuinely unhinged and he is communicating to all of us that he doesn't have the temperament needed to become president and take on donald trump 
So I hope that voters are watching and I hope that Biden supporters acknowledge that if they truly are committed to choosing someone who can defeat Donald Trump, Joe Biden isn't that person. It's Bernie Sanders. Because how many times have you seen Bernie Sanders lose it on a reporter? Zero times. It's because Bernie Sanders acts like an adult and he can take criticism. He's been taking criticism all throughout these years. So Joe Biden, once again, proving why he should not be the Democratic Party nominee, because he is a huge liability going up against Donald Trump in a general.